Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at the factor theorem. Now, the factor theorem uh, states that x minus a is a factor of the polynomial f of x if and only if the f of a is equal to zero. I have two examples here showing uh, how it works for a factor and how it works for a non-factor. And then after that, I'm going to show you two examples of uh, questions where the factor theorem can be used. In the first example here, I showed f of minus 3 in this uh, polynomial here, fx equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 17x plus 30. The f of minus 3, sub in minus 3 there, and you get 0. So that means, therefore, x plus 3 is a factor of fx. And just notice that if it's minus 3 that you're subbing in as a root, then it's x plus 3, that's a factor. If it was the other way around, if it was f of 3, that was a root, then it would be x minus 3 would be a factor. In this case, it doesn't work. The f of 1, 2 times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared minus 17 times 1 plus 30 gives 12. So therefore, x minus 1 is not a factor of fx. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of questions where the factor theorem can be put into use. So the first one here is find the cubic equation that has roots x equal to 5, x equal to 7, and x equal to minus 3. Okay, so using the factor theorem, we know that the factors are x minus 5, x minus 7, and x plus 3. Again, just be careful that if these are the roots, then the factors have the opposite sign in them. Okay, so 5 and minus 5, 7 and minus 7, minus 3 and plus 3. Okay, so we want to find the cubic equation. Um, so let's multiply these out. So I'll start with the first two, x by x, x squared, x by minus 7, minus 7x, minus 5 by x, minus 5x, minus 5 by minus 7 is plus 35. And this is still times x plus 3. Okay, I'll tidy this up and then I'll multiply again. So x squared minus 12x plus 35. And this is times x plus 3. Okay, so let's multiply everything now. x squared by x is x cubed. x squared by 3 is plus 3x squared. Minus 12x by x is minus 12x squared. Minus 12x by 3 is minus 36x. And then 35 by x is plus 35x. And 35 by 3 is 105. So I'll tidy all this up here. x cubed minus 9x minus, uh, sorry, 9x squared, minus x plus 105 equals 0, and that is the cubic equation. So this cubic equation here has roots of 5, 7, and minus 3. If you wanted to test that, if you subbed in 5 for each of them, you'd get an answer of 0. If you subbed in 7 for each of them, you'd get an answer of 0. And if you subbed in minus 3 for each of them, you'd get an answer of 0. Now, another type of question that we can be asked is like this. Show that x equal to 5 is a root of the equation 4x cubed minus 32x squared plus 68x minus 40 equal to 0, and find the other two roots. Okay, if x equal to 5 is a root, 
then if I sub in 5, I should get an answer of 0. So the f of 5, this should be equal to 0. So that's 4 times 5 cubed minus 32 times 5 squared plus 68 times 5 minus 40 and is it equal to 0? So that's equal to 4 times 125 minus 32 times 25 plus 68 times 5 minus 40. And if you work that out, you'll see that it is in fact equal to 0. So we can say, therefore, x equal to 5 is a root. Now, we want to find the other two roots of this cubic. Now, if we have one root, we have one factor. So therefore, x minus 5 is a factor. And if we have one factor of a cubic, to find the other two factors, all we do is we divide this factor into our cubic. We're going to be left with a quadratic, and then we'll be able to solve that quadratic to find the other two roots. So let's do that now. So I'm going to do x minus 5, and I'm going to divide into 4x cubed minus 32x squared plus 68x minus 40. Now, long division, if you need to um, revise how to do this, I have a video there um, on my channel that is uh, long division in algebra. Uh, take a look at that. If you think you're okay with it, you can just follow along now. So, <clears throat> x into 4x cubed is 4x squared. Then we multiply down 4x squared by x is 4x cubed. 4x squared by minus 5 is minus 20x squared. Okay, I'm going to subtract now, so I'll change the sign on both of these. Minus to plus, they cancel. Minus 32 plus 20 it's minus 12. Now I'll bring down my 68x. Okay, x into minus 12x squared goes minus 12x. Minus 12x by x is minus 12x squared. Minus 12x by minus 5 is going to be plus 60x. I'm going to subtract these. In order to do that, I need to change the sign on both of them. They'll cancel to 0. 68 minus 60 is 8x. Bring down my 40. x into 8x goes 8 times. 8 times x is 8x. 8 times minus 5 is minus 40. To subtract, take, change both signs, they all give 0. Okay, so I've now found my quadratic. And remember, I'm looking for two other roots. So if I factorize this quadratic, then I'll get uh, my two other roots. So let's take it down here. 4x squared minus 12x plus 8. Okay, let's factorize that now. So 4x squared and 8. So it's going to be 4x squared minus 8 by x. Sorry, that's not a square. It's going to be 4x minus 8 times x minus 1. If you want to double check that, 4x by x is 4x squared, 4x by minus 1 is minus 4x, minus 8 by x is minus 8x, minus 4 and minus 8 is minus 12, minus 8 minus 1 gives plus 8. 
So the other two factors are four x minus eight and x minus one. So all three factors together are x minus five, four x minus eight and x minus one. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.